Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today is day three of Jazabelle's and right now I am currently taking a break from doing work because in an hour or so I will be stuck in meetings for a while. So I have my little notebook and also my little bunny pen. Okay, so the first thing that I need to do is edit my thumbnail for yesterday's video. I was up editing late last night and I totally forgot to create a thumbnail for the video so I need to do that first. Next thing that I need to do is I need to sew the hole in my reformation jeans. If you guys have not watched yesterday's vlog then what are you doing? I need you guys to go pause this video, go to my channel, watch yesterday's vlog so that way you can see what happened. Okay, I'll wait. Alrighty, now that you're up to date. So I need to sew the hole in my pants. And then the next thing that I need to do is I need to glue down some buttons on some of my clothing. So I brought this jacket from Shein and it's a really cute jacket. I really like to wear it. But it has some flimsy buttons on there. Like the buttons are like, go like this every time I walk. And it's, it's kind of annoying, especially since it has a lot of buttons on there. Like, I can tolerate one or two, but, like, I think it has, like, eight, maybe ten buttons on there that are just flapping around and just going crazy. Like, I'm just, I just can't do it. So, I'm going to glue them down. And I also need to glue down a button on my jeans that I got from Chew. I noticed that their buttons on their jeans are pretty loose compared to other buttons on jeans. I don't know if that's pretty common with their jeans at Chew, but I have two now and they both are pretty loose. Actually one of them, the first jeans that I got from Chew, the button almost broke because it was so loose and because I've been gaining weight, <laughs> I was taking it off and it almost came off so I had to glue it down with some Gorilla Glue and I called it a day. Then I also want to brush my dogs because they are in need of some brushing, okay? And then I also want to wash them because I got this um, waterless shampoo which is really nice because I don't like washing my dogs. Sunny. I don't really wash Sunny, that's mostly my dad because he's so big, but I don't like washing Deuce and Carlito because they they just, they just they do too much in the bathtub and I'm just like, I, I can't, I can't deal. So I got this waterless shampoo, it smells super good and it doesn't require you to do a whole lot, you just spray it in your hand and just rub it on their coats and you're good to go. Obviously, it's not going to clean them if they're very dirty, so I would recommend you wash them. But if you have an indoor dog and their coat smells, I would recommend the waterless shampoo. So I need to purchase some stuff off of Amazon and then I need to finish Christmas shopping. So it's actually pretty funny because I had did some early Christmas shopping this year. I started in September because I wanted to finish most of my Christmas shopping before Black Friday and Cyber Monday because I wanted to buy stuff for myself, okay? But by the time it came around, I only ended up buying like seven items from like two places, so. I didn't really purchase a whole lot of stuff like I did last year. And yeah, I, I think that's, that's completely fine. I mean, like, it is what it is. So that is everything that I need to do for today. I am going to try my best to complete every single thing. So I just did all my meetings and that was just, ugh. So right now I'm about to go and sew my Reformation pants. Um, I'm also am eating some cookie dough from this place called um, Eat Pastry. Oh goodness, I almost dropped the spoon, that scared me. And this is like edible cookie dough that you can eat or you can bake as cookies. But it's just so good and it's also vegan and has non-GMO. And yeah, been snacking on this for a while. Before I sew my pants, I want to start gluing down my buttons. So this is the jacket that I want to glue down the buttons. 
So I don't know if you can see like how loose this is. And if it was just this one and maybe two or three, that's fine. But when you got a whole row plus a pocket and another pocket, it, you just sound like this when I walk. I am going to be using Gorilla Glue to glue them down. I don't know if that's the best way. I am going to take my Gorilla Glue and then I am going to take a toothpick and just apply a little bit onto the toothpick. Place it on the inner parts of the button and then I'm going to seal it down with um, this clamper. done with gluing all the buttons like if I shake it you can kind of hear a little bit of the buttons but it's not as bad as it was I also did the button for this pants right here this is what I got from Chew but I am going to um, go into more detail about this in my Black Friday haul whenever I get the rest of my Black Friday stuff but yeah I just finished that and then I went to go check on the laundry because I started laundry before I did this project and I was like oh it should be done by now and turns out I didn't even start the washing machine so oh my god and I forgot to put some stuff in there I totally forgot that I wanted to wash my um, reusable makeup wipes and I need to wash them so I had to go and quickly put those in the washing machine while it's still going so yeah okay let's get to sewing my reformation jeans <music> Okay, so for anyone who cares, um, this is my sewing box and on the inside I have it kind of organized like this. So over here I have some small thread that I think it like came in like a little kit, like those little mini on the go sewing kits. Like look how small this is. I keep all of these right here I have my little thing I don't even know what this is called but this can help protect your finger if you're um, doing hand sewing so I know that I have like tools over here like I have my measuring tape these are little shears to help cut my thread little screwdriver for my sewing machine to change out the needles or to like open like the, the plate because you have to clean it sometimes. But over here I keep these things that you put inside the sewing machine. I forgot what they're called. But I keep them all right here. Over here I have some safety pins and extra sewing needles along with my push pins. Keep them all in this little box. Um, and then in this pocket I have more measuring tape and then I have some sewing needles right here for when you hand sew stuff and then this can come off Let's put that right there and then down here I have all of my threads so I just recently got this um, pack of thread on Amazon like a while ago I have my uh, fabric scissors which these are really nice because they're pretty sharp and I like these a lot. I also got it from my sewing class. I took a sewing class back when I was in college for a semester and it was really nice. And from that sewing class, this is what came from it. I got this big bundle 
of white red, which is really nice. This is technically supposed to be used for um, industrial sewing machines, but um, of course I'm still going to use it. What's... Oh. It also has some black thread in there. Yay, birth. I have these little things that you push um, needles in. And yeah, it's just basically a whole bunch of thread. Oh, I also have some tweezers just because it's a little bit easier for me to get the thread through the needle. So that's my sewing kit for anyone who cares. sewing my jeans but they're repaired I can wear them now but I am definitely am going to be buying more jeans so that way I won't have to constantly wear them that much to the point where they're over here repping on me and I'm just ah. so now I'm going to wash my dogs I am going to be washing them with this waterless no rinse shampoo and I got this off of Amazon. If it's available still, then I'll link it down below. And this is in the scent Oatmeal. It comes out like very foamy and you just brush it on your dogs to massage them. And look at that. Our first victim is Carlito. Oh no, he knows. He knows. Nope. He knows. Oh, he got away. Now you smell good and you smell like oatmeal. So I'm about to do my nighttime skincare routine, but before I do that, I wanted to show you guys that I got Jackie Ina's Forever Mood Candles. So on the inside, this is what it looks like. It says Mood Activated XLXO Jackie Ina. And these are the four candles. And I just found out that the notes are on the back of this box. Because it's normally, I, I think the notes for candles will mostly be at the bottom for the majority of candles. But it's not on the bottom for these, so I didn't know the notes for these candles until I look at the back of the box. Okay, so the first candle that came in the set is left on red, and it's this very, very pretty purple candle. Then at the top it says forever mood and then we open it it's just a candle so when I first smelt this it's a really interesting scent but I was instantly reminded that this smells like the Christmas shower jellies I used to get like when I was younger I don't know it smells like violet like if you think of like the color violet this is what it smells like and then I read the back and apparently the notes for this is top note is tropical fruit, heart note is coconut and coconut milk, and the base note is caramel. And that's a really interesting mix. Like, come to think of it, I can definitely smell a little bit of the coconut along with the caramel. Next one is caked up and this is in the pink packaging. Super cute. Now when I first smelled this, I was like, yes, I'm getting a very sweet scent. It smells like um, 
like almond almond oil I believe that you, you would use to bake because when I was younger and I used to bake with my mom we use almond oil or almond extract I can't remember but it smelled like cherries and I thought it was always so interesting so it smells like that it smells very sweet I think this one's my favorite and then also left on red and so the notes for this is Top is roasted pistachio, almond cream, and pineapple. Heart is honey, jasmine, and coconut. Base is vanilla bean and musk. But it's just a very good combination. Next is cuffing season. It comes in this peach color. It's very cute. Okay, now when I smelled this one, I was like, oh, this smells different. I like the smell of this. This like kind of smells like a unisex type of like perfume. Like I'll definitely wear this as a perfume. So the notes for this is the top note is fresh ozone salty lemon which I thought that was interesting because I didn't know salty lemon has a scent. Like I would think it'll smell like lemon at the end of the day. Mineral citrus heart is iris violet jasmine base is douglas fir rainforest moss and white cedar definitely smells like a cologne it smells like a man that's probably why it's called cuffing season it smells like a man so the last one is matcha business and it comes in this green color which actually it matches my shirt this one's an interesting scent so when i first smelled this I thought, like, I never smelled a scent like this before because it smells kind of like a brownie, but then kind of like a cleaning product at the same time. It's very weird. So the notes for this is, the top note is hazelnut coffee, almond milk, and honey. Heart is coffee lavender, and the base is vanilla. Like, it kind of has like a subtle sweet scent to it, but if you s smell this for a long time, like it kind of gets that cleaning smell that I'm not really fond of. So that's definitely my least favorite. But overall, I really like these candles a lot. The packaging is very cute, very nice. So now moving on to my nighttime skincare routine. I am going to be trying out this kit from Wellage. I had received this from Yes Style months ago. I was actually supposed to do a video for them reviewing this product but I was not in the right place did not have the right mindset to do it so I did not do it but now I am feeling so much better and I am going to be testing this out so this is like a kit for you to try for 10 days and this is supposed to be like a calming and soothing product for your skin I'm going to be testing out this product for 10 days and then I'll do my final video for this product and for yes style <laughs> um, but that's gonna be released in January next year Okay, so it says that I need to use this right after I put my toner on and then we're going to use this product first and then put this product on it. So let me cleanse my face, put on toner, and then I'll see you guys with a fresh face. Alright, let's open it. like a little ball in there <gasps> it's very small it's very hollow then we have this which is the solution break it at the top like this and we're just gonna Yeah, there's no scent to this, which is very nice. No fragrance added. So, I like the way it feels on my skin. It feels very calming, definitely soothing. 
it is giving my skin a little bit of um, hydration, which is very nice. And it dries pretty quickly too. Um, there's some skincare products that take a while to dry and it drives me crazy. But this dries very fast. So yeah, I'm excited to see how my skin is after I finish the whole 10 products. And yeah, that is going to be it for this vlog. I hope you guys liked this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Pa'ala!